everyone, it's Bella and today's video is going to be on this look right here. It is actually a whole bunch of things. It is a no foundation, no false lashes makeup look. It is a sweat proof makeup look because if you have no foundation, what are you going to sweat off? And it is a makeup for glasses makeup look because there's no foundation. You're not going to get those annoying little foundation marks that you always get there from glasses. And there's no false lashes which are going to push up against your glasses which I know is just the most annoying thing in the world when wearing glasses. Like I hate wearing false lashes when I have glasses on because it just is so uncomfortable. So this makeup tutorial is actually great for a whole bunch of things. It's actually like a good school makeup tutorial, like a back to school makeup tutorial because it's so natural. It is a whole bunch of things, honestly. This tutorial is so versatile, but the reason I created it is because in a few days I'm going to Thailand with Kerry and I'm so excited. We're going for a week and I know it's going to be just as hot and just as humid there as it is in Brisbane and it is freaking stinking hot and humid in Brisbane right now. It's disgusting and I don't even want to wear makeup because I know I'm just going to get a sweaty upper lip and I, I always get a sweaty upper lip and I don't know if it's because like I'm overthinking because I'm like shit it's hot I'm going to get a sweaty upper lip and then I start stressing out and then I get a sweaty upper lip because I'm stressed or if I just have a sweaty upper lip. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I know the same thing's going to happen in Thailand and I wanted to wear makeup so that I could, you know, look presentable and get nice photos while I'm traveling. And I don't want to have that like annoying little mark on my upper lip where my makeup has sweat off and you can just see it so obviously. So I came up with this makeup look. It is so sweat proof. It is just, it's an all around makeup look. It's really easy to recreate and it feels so good on the skin because it's like, you look nice but your skin is breathing, you know, like you can just feel the air in your pores. Anyway, if you do enjoy this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on the skin a lot because we're not using foundation to cover anything up. So we want our base to look as nice as possible. So I'm going to start off like prepping the skin and I'm going to hydrate my under eyes using these Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels from Skin Iceland. And that's it. That's the whole tutorial. Thanks for watching. Okay, but seriously, um, now I'm going to use this Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water from Lush. And I'm just going to use this before I apply my moisturizer. And for my moisturizer, I'm going to be using this one from Kate Somerville. It is the Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. And watch this. So fun. And while I let that sink in, I'm going to move on and I'm going to exfoliate my lips with this lip scrub from Lush. And actually, I really wanted the um, pop, the no, not the popcorn one. I really wanted the bubblegum one. It's the best one. But they were all sold out. This is like my third one of these. But I never finish them. I just lose them. And the best thing about these lip scrubs, very easy cleanup. And I'm also going to apply some lip balm. This one is from Lush as well. I just got this today as well, actually. And it is Rose Lollipop. That's the flavor. Oh, I expected it to be pink. I don't know why. <laughs> While everything sinks into the skin, um, because I'm going to be leaving these on for about 10 to 15 minutes and letting the moisturizer sink into my skin, I'm going to be doing my brows and I use the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Brow Palette and I use this shade right here. And my favorite brush for my eyebrows is the Morphe E29 brush. I have had this brush pretty much since I started my channel actually. So I'm just going to brush all of the hairs up. For the most part, I just run powder through my brows. 
but if you guys know, <laughs> I don't know if I've said this on my channel before, but my friend actually waxed these bits, like my hair used to grow the way I fill it in, that's how my eyebrow used to look naturally, but then on both sides of my eyes, my friend waxed these bits off by, by accident <laughs> and they just never grew back so I always have to put a little bit of extra powder up in the top corner there. And then I also just run a little bit of my Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel through them just to make sure the hairs stay in place and they stay up because I feel like brushing them up just makes them look a little bit more natural. And now moving on to the face, so I'm going to use a primer even though I'm not using foundation and I'm going to use this pore filling primer from Urban Decay. It's just going to fill in the pores and make your skin look really flawless. And I'm just putting this in the areas where I get the most pores, so just like my t-zone area. So now I'm going to use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter just to give my skin like a little bit of a natural looking glow. But it just makes your skin look like really healthy. Okay, so now I'm going to color correct any like problem areas if there's anything that you do want to cover but we're not wearing foundation. Color correcting is the way to do it. So I'm using my Naked Skin Concealer, no, my Naked Skin Corrector from Urban Decay. It is the color correcting fluid in the shade Pink. And I'm going to use this one to color correct my eyes. And I actually also use a little bit of this around my mouth because I just get like bluish tones around my mouth. I don't know why. <laughs> And then I'm going to use my finger to pat this in because the warmth of your finger is going to make it look the most natural. I'm also going to use the green color corrector from Urban Decay just to cancel out any redness that I have. A little blemish on my nose right now, so what I'm actually going to do... I don't want to put it straight on because I definitely don't want the green to be too intense, so I'm going to grab it on my finger pat the excess off and then pat it onto my skin. Color correcting, you don't want to have like a green dot on your face. It's just meant to counteract the color. Like for instance, if you're trying to counteract red, you just want to put the green on, blend it in, and then it should counteract that red. Like you don't need to put it like super green and then cover it with concealer because that's not how you're meant to color correct. And I also have like a giant pimple here right now. And I'm also going to use a little bit of concealer. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. This is the shade Fair. And once again, I'm just going to use my finger to blend this in. And then I'm going to make my skin glow even more. I'm going to take the Josie Moran Argan, Illumin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizing Wand and I'm going to apply this just where you would normally apply highlighter. And I'm also going to grab a little bit and put that in the inner corner. You don't have to do this, but I will crease up if I don't. So I'm going to use my Laura Messier translucent powder to just set my under eyes and my eyelids. And I use a Morphe G37 to do this. Then I'm going to grab my ColourPop Sculpting Stick. This is in the shade Easy Peasy. I'm just going to use this to give a little bit of warmth to the skin. And this brush here is just a Morphe G36. I'm also just going to add a little bit of blush to the skin and this one is Papa Don't Peach by Too Faced and I'm using this brush from Iconic London. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes and the first shade that I'm going to take is Frappe from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to use a Morphe R38 brush to blend this into the crease. I'm going to add a light wash of this to the whole eye. And I'm also going to add it to my lower lash line. The next shade I'm going to pick up is Fudge from Anastasia and I'm just going to focus this on the outer V of the eye. And 
Then just on a little flat definer brush, this one is from Sigma, it's the E15. I'm going to grab a matte black shadow, this one is Corrupt from Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to smoke this on my lash line. And I'm just going to use a little pencil brush, this is the Morphe M431, and I'm just going to smoke it out on my, lower, on my lash line, the black that I just put on there, I'm just going to smoke it out. <laughs> I'm going to tight line my eyes using the ColourPop Swerve Gel Liner. This makes a huge difference. Even if you're not wearing false lashes, it like makes a big difference when you're wearing mascara as well. Because I find, well for me personally, my eyelashes like when I curl them go up like that and you can just see that little bit of skin. So this like, it seems like such a small step and you can't really notice it. But if you did it on one eye and not the other, you would really notice it, you know? For my mascara today, I'm going to use this one from BH Cosmetics. It is the BH Bliss Lash. Okay, I do not remember why I stopped using this mascara. It's awesome. And for my lips, I'm going to mix these two here. These are the Too Faced Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. And I have the shade Pubidone Peach and Peach Fuzz. And then I'm just going to grab Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek and I'm going to add a little bit of this to my eyelid. Oh shit. <laughs> But that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!